Hey guys, thanks for clicking. My name's Kent. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about two different wireless light guns for the PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2. The older, fatter PlayStation 2 can play PlayStation 1 light gun games. There are three types of light guns with respective light gun games for the PlayStation 1 and 2. The normal light gun, the GunCon 1 light gun, and the GunCon 2 light gun. Normal light guns only work with normal light gun games. The GunCon 1 light gun only works with GunCon 1 compatible games. And finally, the GunCon 2 light gun only works with GunCon 2 compatible games. Happily, both of these wireless guns I'm reviewing today have switches that switch them between the three light gun types. So that's pretty cool. The first one I got uh, about a year and a half ago, this is the free shot made by Pelican. It has a C button on the bottom, an A button there, a B button there, and a D-pad. And these are the iron sights. A sturdy trigger, and then it has three switches for player one, or, or off, or player two. And normal gun, gun con one, or gun con two, and normal shooting, auto reload, and auto fire. The batteries go in here. It takes two AA batteries. I got two of them for like $12 a piece. I use both of these guns as props in a video that I made called Time Crisis 5 Comes Alive. Check out the link in the description. The Pelican Free Shot. And it works with normal gun games, Gun Con 1 games, and Gun Con 2 games. This is the Dream Gear Marksman. Go ahead and show you the box here. And a wireless 2.4 gigahertz light gun. It's got a really cool uh, magazine release. I'll push this button here. The magazine falls out. And this is where you put the three AAA batteries. And then you pop it in. It's like a magazine. This one, the on switch is on the bottom. And I was kind of surprised too to see a, a DC volt here. So it, it appears that if you have the right adapter, you can plug this in. It has a, a C button here. So you can play with one hand really easily on a lot of games by pushing this to reload or whatnot, which is nice. It's got an A button, B button, select start, picks player one or player two by doing this, the switch here, and then we have two switches here, one for blast mode, one for gun con one mode and gun con two mode. So blast mode is a normal light gun mode, and then it's got a switch here for a manual reload, manual fire, an auto load, and then an auto load and an auto fire. It's got a low battery a light, and then a status light to see if you're connected. And it has a D-pad on the back as well. I just recently got this gun for about $36. Is it better? Yes. Unfortunately, with both of these wireless guns, you can't really get very far away from the receiver. The receiver for this Dream Gear gun looks identical to the Pelican receiver. The only difference is the Pelican has their logo on the back, and this one doesn't have anything on the back. Both the guns connect to to both receivers, whether it be the Pelican receiver or the plain black receiver. Um, on the other end, we have a PlayStation regular PlayStation port. So this has to be plugged in if you're going to be playing uh, like normal gun games or GunCon 1 gun games. Um, if you're going to be playing GunCon 2 games, all you need is the USB port plugged in. And also, if you're going to be playing GunCon 1 or GunCon 2 game, you need to have this plug in the middle of your video cord going into your TV. You put this little adapter in the middle of your video cord and the television. So the GunCon 1 and the GunCon 2 are the most accurate light guns because of this little adapter here. So neither of these guns work with a flat screen or LED or LCD or projection TV. Um, they only work with your old school tube TV monitors like you see there. Neither one of them have a vibration function. Neither one of them have force feedback when you pull the trigger. 
Here's the iron sights on this gun. This one does shoot farther before it starts losing signal, like a few feet farther, but it, it's still, you have to be pretty close. You have to really be just as close to your TV as you would with if you were wired to the TV. If you get further than that, then a lot of times you'll pull the trigger and it'll, it won't register it, so you won't shoot or you won't reload and it hurts your gunplay if you get too far away from the television. So unfortunately you got to stay pretty much just as close to the television as you did if you had a wired gun. But it does give you some freedom of movement and so forth. Um, this gun you got to be even closer and even when you're really close a lot of times it still misses, it still doesn't register when you pull the trigger. These are more rare it seems like. Also this one is more accurate than this one. This one I got to a part in uh, Police 911, the Kite Satsuken, uh, where I was playing with it, and I couldn't even shoot the guys on the bottom of the screen. There were, there were these guys at the very bottom of the screen, and I couldn't shoot them with this. But this, I was easily able to shoot them, so... So I mainly got this gun because it's wireless, and I want to use it with Police 911. The Kite Satsuken, I did a video on it previously, go ahead and check it out. I wouldn't recommend this gun, I would recommend this one. In conclusion, yay, nay. So unfortunately, if you want these guns to work with every game, then you need to use a composite video cord, which is lower quality than the component video cord. My wired light guns work with the component video cords on every game, but for some reason, these don't. Okay, well, that wraps it up. Um, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.